So let us be mindful of the world as we pray, and let us pray. O present Lord, it is right there in the Bible. Uh, it is in the scripture we call holy. It is in the book that some people shake in our faces and claim that it contains their truth and we are outcast if we do not swallow their views. And they spew their views 24-7 across TV land as the truth, the absolute truth. But their truth fails to note that the Bible says that during Bible times, the word of the Lord was silent. They fail to note that no one was standing on street corners with megaphones shouting the truth because you choose to use the sound of silence for a deeper truth. So Samuel, the boy, heard you in the temple silence. And O Eli was still spiritually alert enough to unscramble your voice. And he told Samuel to listen. For you, the ultimate reality, were present to lead. So we pray, O present Lord, but help us to be open to hear and to do. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Like Samuel, may we seek you now. Be doers of the word. Like Samuel, may we do your truth and not fear the dark night of the soul. Like Samuel, may we not fear to dwell in the darkness of uncertainty, but be willing to walk through the valley of the shadow. But above all, may we not fear ferocious Bible babble, that hides the deeper silence of your clear call, as in the story of Samuel. So, O oh Lord, may we also hear the themes of the story of Jesus, lying just below the surface of the temple story of old Eli and young Samuel. As more light breaks forth, from your relevant word through Jesus who taught us to pray our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.